Hello and welcome. This is our calculus tutorial and concerns particularly increasing and decreasing functions. An easy idea but one that's not always dealt with particularly well. There you go. There is a function. We're going to deal with two functions. One slightly easier than the other. This one. A nice parabola. And the idea that's increasing or decreasing. Here we see a negative gradient and for obvious reasons we say that the function here decreases. Here we see a positive gradient and again for obvious reasons we say the function is increasing and what we need to do is simply decide where it does what. To do this we will consider the gradient, the dy dx, the differential. x squared becomes 2x, minus 6x becomes minus 6, that is our gradient, and we have our two regions, one where we will have gradient dy dx less than 0, and the other dy dx greater than 0, and those are our two conditions to decide where does it increase, where does it decrease. If we are to look for 2x minus 6 greater than 0, We have, there we go, x is 3 there, so we have increasing when x is greater than 3 and vice versa. So we have decreasing when x, oops, negative, and we have decreasing negative gradients when x is less than 3. And we've decided where it increases, decreases. Let's have a look at a slightly more complex function now. And we use a slightly different notation. I'm going to use f of x this time. It makes no great difference. e to the x, 1 plus x. This is the function I would like to consider. And to decide increasing, decreasing, what I will need I need gradients less than 0 and for increasing. gradients greater than zero. The question is, where are those? You may realize, hopefully, that this is a product of two functions, and for that we can use the product rule, u and v is the two functions, u is e to the x, and v we can see is 1 plus x. Differentiate the u, e to the x, very easy, and differentiate the v, 1 plus x, once again, very nice, very easy. And the product rule tells us that the differential is uv dashed plus v u dashed, which will give us e to the x times 1 plus e to the x times 1 plus x. Multiply out the bracket, e to the x, x e to the x, we will get two lots of e to the x plus x e to the x. And then I'm just going to factorise, put the factors in, and I will see that. There's my gradient function. The question is, when is this positive, when is this negative? Now, if you know anything about the exponential function e to the x, think of its graph, it looks something like this. It is never negative. e, 2.7 approximately, to any power will always give you positive. So this 2 plus x is the part of the function, the factor that we are interested in. And we can see that that's going to be greater than 0 when x is greater than minus 2. So we have our increasing and decreasing. So f dashed of x is going to be greater than 0 when x is greater than negative 2. And consequently, f dashed of x is decreasing when x is less than minus 2. And those are our two areas separated at minus 2, where there's a stationary point, and increasing and decreasing on either side. And our job is done, we have decided. Just to finish this off, what we'll do is we'll have a quick look at the graph, just to confirm 
we know what we're looking at. Here's the graph of e to the x1 plus x. And just as we calculated, we have a stationary point sitting at x equals 2. And you can see this side, you can see a negative gradient. And the function decreases. And on this side of the graph, you can see f dashed of x increasing and decreasing either side separated at stationary point x equals minus 2. And there we go, increasing, decreasing functions.